Jeremiah 29 11 says for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not harm you to give you hope and a future hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Sydney and I hope this video finds you well so today I want to talk about why you shouldn't settle so recently it's been on my heart to make a video about why you shouldn't settle and I feel like a lot of us, a lot of the times, we settle and I just want to motivate you and encourage you not to settle and to know that you're God's best and God only wants the best for you. Um, and so we're going to be talking about that today. If you like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Send it to a friend if that friend might need some encouragement, some motivation. Hey, I got you. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below if you have anything to add to this video, of course. And if you would like for me to cover any future topics, uh, any advice videos, I'm open to any suggestions. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos from me. really been on my heart to encourage you all to keep striving for more and to know your worth in God and to know your worth in Christ and to know that he has created you in his image and that he has a purpose and a calling for your life and you never ever 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 need to settle and that's the most beautiful part about it is that whether it's within a job, a career, or a relationship, friendship, whatever it is, God never wants you to settle. He always wants you to strive for more and be more and have more. And it's totally possible. And I think that we often fear um, I think that Settling comes from fear, right? And that's the fear of the unknown, the fear that we can't do something, the fear that we're undeserving, the fear that we're unworthy. And and I think that whatever your fear is, it can often drive you to settling. And when you're settling, you know it because your soul doesn't feel happy, your spirit doesn't feel happy, you feel very uneasy, you don't feel at peace. About the situation you're constantly questioning yourself you're doubting things you you don't have faith you're just kind of going with it because you think maybe that's all you deserve or maybe that's all you can do that's all you can accomplish and I'm really just here to tell you in the most cliche way um, but the most truthful and honest way is that you're deserving of all of it. Everything you could imagine is possible with God. And I really just want to encourage you to strive for more and to never settle. Settling is comfort zone. It's mediocrity. It's joyless. It's fear. And it's dissatisfying. You know what? The worst part about settling is that you'll never be happy. And... I think that sometimes it seems like the easy way out and it seems like the easy um, solution or you know um, it just seems like the right thing to do because it's the easy way right but the way that you know you're settling is because you'll never be happy you'll never feel content and I really wanted to bring up this word content because I think there's a difference between settling and being content and I think that when you're content you are happy where you're at but you're also striving for more and you know that you're not settling and when you're settling you're accepting this situation or you're accepting this idea or this person or this job or whatever it is as all that you are worth all that you can have when you know deep down inside that you deserve so much more and so I really think that there's a difference there and we have to highlight that and I don't think that we tell each other enough to 
keep striving for more and reaching your goals and that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That God loves you and He would never put a passion in your heart if He didn't think that you could do it. And so to have that faith in yourself and it's really about replacing fear with faith. And not only that, it's about knowing your worth, knowing that you deserve more, knowing that you can do more. And when you know that, there's no way that you could really settle. I think a lot of us um, settle within our jobs and within our careers because we know that we need money to sustain us in life. But I think that we have to give our fears and our doubts and our worries to God because He will carry us through. And, you know, I'm not saying to quit your job and whatever, but I'm saying that you need to pursue the passion that God has put in your heart. He wants us to do it in a way where we're content where we are, but we're still striving for more. We're still striving to reach our goals and our accomplishments. And I think that oftentimes, instead of being content and striving to reach those things, we often settle and say, okay, well maybe this is you know, what God had planned for me because I don't know when I will get this um, record deal or I don't know when I'll get this other job or whatever the case is. And I think that it really doesn't have a time limit and that we just have to keep trying and keep striving. I think oftentimes we also settle in our relationships because we fear um, being lonely, we fear not being loved, um, we fear not being able to start a family. And we don't realize that us settling will only bring us temporary happiness. And we won't have long-term joy, we won't have fulfillment, we won't have true love so i think one of the most important reasons why we shouldn't settle is because whatever you're looking for is out there whatever you want whatever you're striving for whatever you're striving to be whatever the qualities are that you want in another person um in another friendship um whatever it is it's out there and it's possible and it's especially possible with god and i think that we need to hear this more often, that whatever you want, you can have it. You're not asking for too much. You want someone kind, caring, and loving. That's possible and that's doable. But if you're settling for someone who treats you bad, you're never gonna find that other person, you know? If you're settling for this job and you're not striving for your dream job, then you're never going to get your dream job. I think it's a balance of being content, meaning you're happy, but you're striving for more. Whereas when you're settling, you're accepting whatever the situation is to be all that you are deserving of and all that you will have. And I think that's really where we kind of get it confused. So if anything has popped up in your head while I've been talking about this, whether it's a job or a relationship or a friendship or whatever it is, I want you to take that thing and consider it and ask yourself, am I doing this out of fear or out of obligation or out of loneliness or out of anything that isn't love and happiness and joy and peace and fulfillment? what am I doing? Am I doing it out of fear or am I doing it out of joy? And I think that'll really help you determine if you're settling or if you're content. So again, just ask yourself, is this something I want? Yes or no? If it's yes, I'm super happy for you. Congratulations. That means you're probably um, with someone that you love or you probably have an amazing job and you're happy and I'm super happy for you but if you said no I want you to consider why that is what can you change to make you happy and to make your life joyful what can you change so that you're striving for what you actually want and do you know what you actually want 
a lot of the times we say, oh, I'm not gonna settle for that, I don't want that. But then we don't know what we actually want. So then when that thing that we actually want is in our presence, we might pass it up because we don't even know that that's what we actually want. So really it's about looking inward and knowing what you actually want and writing those things down, manifesting it and praying about it and saying, God, I work at a grocery store right now and I'm content, but I know that in the long run, I wanna be a singer, okay? I'm not taking the necessary steps, but I'm aware of it now. And so now I'm gonna be striving for, you know, sessions in the studio, striving to write music, striving for whatever it is, so that I'm not settling at this job. Because I know that you put this passion in my heart to sing. And so if I know that, now I can pursue it. You see how that works? It's about knowing yourself, knowing what God's put on your heart, and, and figuring out how you can strive for that daily. And it doesn't always happen overnight. Sometimes it takes weeks, months, years, but it's about the little steps, the consistent little steps. Because little steps add up to big steps and they add up to change. Whereas settling doesn't equal anything. <laughs> Nothing comes out of it. Nothing flourishes. It's just, you doing what you have to do to get by. You being with this person out of obligation, out of loneliness. You being at this job for the money, whatever, whatever. And that's not how life is. That's not what God intended for us. That's not the type of life that he wanted us to have. And I think it's important that we know that. That life is so great and it's about so much more than settling you to leave this video thinking, thinking about your life, thinking inward on what you want, and asking yourself these questions, you know, am I settling? How can I be content? How can I strive for more? How can I reach my dreams? What are my dreams? What are my goals? What is my purpose here? And how can I fulfill that? So one way that you know that you're settling is you're consistently compromising. And you could be compromising yourself, you could be compromising the things that you love, you could be compromising um, your time, your energy, your money, your um, love. Um, you could be compromising whatever in a way that makes you feel bad. And the biggest way that you know that you're settling is that you feel bad and you don't feel peace and you don't feel joy you don't feel happiness and you don't wake up excited to you know live out your dream and I think it often takes people in our lives to tell us you were made to do what you want to do and you can do that and I just want to encourage you and let you know that real friendships exist Real loving relationships exist. Amazing jobs that you love exist. The career that you want, it exists. And it's all possible with God. And so I just wanna encourage you to keep striving for what you want. And don't settle for less because that's not what life is about. I encourage you to come up with an action plan and figure out what you want and how you're going to get it. You have to go out and get it. And I just hope that I encourage you today a little bit not to settle, that you're God's best and you deserve the best and that he wants nothing but the best for you and anything is possible with him. I love you, thank you so much for watching. And if you would like any of my personal advice one-on-one, -on -one, go ahead and leave me a comment or send me a message and I would love to help encourage you on whatever your journey is. I'll be praying for you. Thank you so much for watching again and God bless.